Hello mates, welcome to Full Stack Java Developer. I am Kiran Zadav here. In this session, I will teach you here Spring Boot CRUD application. We are using here Spring Boot as a controller layer to create the REST API and MySQL we are using here as a database. Then see, in this session, like we'll more focus on practical approach. Then simply come up with the theory context. See, I am going to create here CRUD application. See, it means create. It means we are going to insert data into database. R it means read the data, whatever available in database. U it means update, whatever existing data we are going to modify it. And T it means we are going to delete the data by its ID. Then this is more focus on CRUD itself actually. Within 15 minutes we will finish the entire application. Then how to create Spring Boot application? Simply come up with the Chrome browser and type here Spring Initializer. This is the office web page start.spring.io where we are creating the Spring Boot application the project as Maven, the language as Java and this Spring, Spring Boot latest version we are using here then here project information the group I am giving here com.fullstack and the artifact it means application name I am giving here Spring Boot CRUD now simply refactor the base package packaging as jar Java version as 17 adding dependencies we are using devtool for live overload Next, we are using Lumbok. It will help us to reduce the boilerplate code. Next, we are just adding here Spring Babe. It's all available in build Tomcat server. It will help us to create the REST APIs. Next, we require the MySQL dependency here. And the next is data JPA. Persistence layer, we are using data JPA. Now, simply click on generate. Within minute, production ready, application will be available there. And this is great feature comes under Spring Boot. Now, We'll copy the our application and coming to part particular folder. There we are just going to paste it. The next, you can simply right click there, go ahead with the extract. Once extraction is done, then we'll copy the path of our application and then simply come up with the IntelliJ idea. We are using editor as an IntelliJ idea. Come up with the file new project from existing sources. Then giving the path of our application here, simply click on OK. The next, this is Maven project, simply click on create, trust project with new window. I want to open in another window. Then simply come up with the pom.xml file. Here we are just going to add Swagger UI dependency. Then see, here I am adding the Swagger UI dependency. You can copy it from Google, otherwise you can simply copy it from Maven artifact itself. I will copy it from my local because in my local there is available Swagger UI dependency. And you can simply copy from our GitHub code as well. I will upload uh, it on GitHub also. Now we will come up with the SRC main resources. Here we are creating the ML file. Simply right click new file. I am giving here application.ml. Now we will copy the ML content from existing application itself. You can simply copy from our GitHub. Then here we'll, we are just going to add like database configuration part, right? And the database name we are using here HRM and database we are using here MySQL as a database. Then we have loaded driver class, established connection, username, password, everything here, right? Perfect. Now simply come up with the Maven and start the build up of our application. Here, simply do clean space, install. It will take some time. Then meanwhile, we'll come up with the complete full stack. Right click on that base package. And new package I am creating package name as model. Next package I am creating the package name as repository. Next package creating the package name as service package here. Next package creating new package package name as like controller package. We required one more package the package name as exception package. See our build goes to here fail uh, because of it showing uh, this dependency not found 2.5.8 right then we need to check it come up with the pom.xml 2.5.8 right we are just going to add this aggregate right? dependency I am just using control oh 2.8.5 is available there fine yes then simply again to the maven build it will start to build our application here then Come up with the model, new Java class, the Java class name I am giving here employee, 
this is kind of hrm application we are creating here now come up with the exception new java classes this is custom exception we are giving record not found exception come up with the controller new java class as employee controller now we'll come up with the repository new java this will be interface and the interface name as employee repository we'll come up with the service here we are creating new service class employee service impl like implementation class and see build also success once build success simply reload the project now we'll start with the development of our application for that perspective we'll come up with the employee.java use at rate data it coming from lumbok at all our constructor at no our constructor at data it means it's replaced with getter setters right and to string like instead of adding the boilerplate code you can simply use at rate data at all our constructor this is parameterized constructor no our constructor it means this is default constructor next we are calling here at rate entity annotation next we require the table as well here and the table name i am passing here name as employee now adding here at id this is you can say primary key at generator value giving the starter as identity if you are using oracle then simply give the sequence here i am giving private emp have id private string this will be emp have name private this will be double emp have salary i'm just adding three fields because we are just trying to finish within 15 minutes that's why now we'll come up with the repository annotate with at the rate repo then use here extends jp repo at the rate repository annotation is not mandatory here okay simply say employee and this will be wrapper class as integer now we'll come up with the custom exception i am just adding here response status and the value is not found it means 404 we are just going to extends this will be runtime exception and in that we are going to pass parameter as constructor like record not found exception simply string type of message i am passing here and then use super message such a way we handle here like custom exception you can simply say like record not found exception now come up with the service layer annotated with service this is mandatory annotation here now we are using adrect auto wire instead of creating the object we are just calling adrect auto wire here this will be private you can say employee or repository here fast forward i am creating the four methods first method i am creating public this will be you can say employee and this is create we are passing here employee employee if you want to say method name as save that also fine because jp itself available in build method as save now simply call in the return employee repo dot save and we are passing here the entity as employee next this will be public we are just going to say this will be like optional class here optional will be type of our employee simply say find by id integer type of input we are passing here id now simply to return Employer repo dot find by id id as an input next we are writing public here we are trying to fetch list of data list is an interface coming from util package this will be employee say find all now we are using return this will be employer repo dot find all this is public we are passing here employee and the method name as update simply to return employee repo dot save because there is not available in build method as update okay we need to call here save method now coming to next and this is the last service method we are writing here delete by id then integer emp id i am giving as input now simply call here employee repo dot delete by id id as an input then to control a alt control l it will format the code base and whatever save find by id find all save here did by the right those are the inbuilt method we are calling from jp repo itself now come up with the next and this is the last layer 
like API layer, you can simply say controller layer. Another bit at REST controller itself available at response body. Now we are calling here request mapping as well. It will decide the route way path of our applications, right? Base URIs. Inside that we are calling at auto white. This will be private. You can simply say employee service IMPL. Yes. The first API I am going to write here. This is for post mapping sign up. Post mapping it means save data. Instead of sign up, we'll consider this will be save. Yeah. This will be public like response entity. It will be type of our employee. Simply say save. Then corresponding request payload we are going to pass. In controller, we'll consider this is the request body for this entity as employee. Now simply to return response entity dot ok employee service dot save employee now come up with the next at get mapping it means we are trying to read it down this is for find by id i am passing input parameter here emp id then simply say public this will be response entity this will be optional of like optional is a java class it will help us to avoid null pointer exception optional of employee this will be find by id Passing address path variable and this will be integer type of PMP ID as a input. Simply to return this will be response entity dot ok employee service dot find by ID. ID as an input here. Then here we are passing input parameter that's why we are passing here address path variable. Now come up with the next this will be gate mapping and this method for find all it will fetch all data. This will be public response entity it will be type of list list it will be type of our employee and simply say find all now return this will be response entity dot ok employee service dot find all coming to next this will be put mapping we are just trying to update the data for that perspective i am passing here update emp as an input we are passing there this will be public response entity it will be type of our employee simply say update and here we are passing path variable on the piece of that in input emp id we are trying to update the data for employee that's why i'm passing here request body this is the request payload we are going to pass from swagger now simply say employee employee one equal to this will be employee service dot find by id id as input parameter if it's not exist then we'll say or we'll throw new record not found exception and here is the message like employee hash id does not exist and if it's available they were going to say it here this will be the name you can say employee.get name the next one is employee1.set salary we are getting employee.get salary and simply to return this will be response entity dot ok employee service dot you can say update and be careful here you can pass the employee one itself now come up with the next and this is the last API we are writing here delete by ID on the base of EMP ID we are trying to delete data this will be public like response entity it will be type of string type of message we are passing here and the method is delete by ID at the path address path variable we are using because we are going to pass here integer type of employee as the input call here employee service dot delete by ID ID as an input here then to return this will be response entity dot ok we are passing a string type of message like data deleted successfully such a way we done with the entire session within 15 minutes now we are just ready to start our application come up with the main class like our project name ending with application simply right click and start the application here see it will take one or two minutes itself and once it's up and running we are just going to hit here localhost swagger hyper ui dot html see swagger also up and running then first we'll go to the post mapping it means save data like create you can simply consider right yeah simply refresh the swagger url yes see one screen swagger is up and running just try it out ID we are not going to pass anything because this is at increment name I am passing here Sora on the salary I am going to pass here 
97,000.99 executed. Data inserted successfully, right? One more record I am going to pass here, Lakshmi. And Lakshmi, we are passing here 99,000. Execute. Perfect. One more, we are passing here Pratik. And we are giving salary as 2,50,000. Execute it. See one screen. Like data inserted successfully, right? Simply checking database as well. Use the database. Full star form employee. There are three records available. Perfect. Now we'll simply come up with the update. That's perfect. I'm passing here ideas three, and we'll pass here Pratik details. I want to update here Pratik surname. Pratik Maske. And the salary also we are trying to update here. Like this is five lakh fifty thousand. Simply execute. See data updated successfully, right? Now, if you are passing here 1001, it will give us record not found exception. 404, not found, record not found exception, employee does not exist. Even here also, application not goes to crash. It just adding custom exception, record not found exception, and employee hash ID does not exist. This is the message that we are expecting. Now come up with the next. Next is find by ID, just trying here 1, fetching data for Sora. Next, if I'm trying for two, fetching data for Lakshmi. If I'm trying with three, it will fetch data for Pratik. See one screen. Perfect. Now find all. Just write out, execute. It will fetch all the three records. Come up with the next. And this is the last API we are trying to test it. Like first record, I'm going to delete. Second record also, I'm going to delete. Now, if you're checking in database, there is only two records available. Sorry, one record available, Pratik. The last record also, I'm going to delete from here. Execute. Now there is no any single record available like such a way we perform here CRUD application by using Spring Boot and MySQL as a database and CRUD means create, read, update and delete and we use here API testing as a Swagger UI then see upcoming sessions there are lots of things we are going to handle and definitely I will give the like high level session for the entire full stack application by using Spring Boot and ReactJS then Stay tuned with the full stack Java developer YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. Please do like, share, subscribe to the channel to get more updates and see you in next video.